What is going on everybody? Nico Lint here and for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a yacht broker by trade. I work for HMY Yacht Sales, the company on my hat and my shirt. Um, I live in Palm Beach Gardens, I work down here. Um, but I figured I'd make a quick video series on what it's like being a South Florida yacht broker, what my day to day looks like. So over the coming weeks, I'm gonna be I'm going to be posting a series of videos about you know what I do every day because it's always something new. One day I'm on a sea trial, one day I'm helping clients, one day I'm doing office work. And so I'm gonna every time, you know, every day I have something new going on, I'm just gonna make a little vlog about it to kind of show you guys what it's like being a South Florida yacht broker in case anyone's interested in the profession or just interested in what we do. And so today is the first of those videos. Today's just a busy day. I gotta go run up the Stewart, then I gotta go run down to Fort Lauderdale, then I gotta go run and check on another client's boat here in Jupiter, Juno Beach area. So today's a crazy day. Stick with me, it's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, let's go ahead and do this first thing, which is heading up to Stewart to go return some boat keys and then to also check on a boat up there. I'll show you the boat up there, it's a really awesome one. If you want to be a yacht broker, you better be prepared to put a ton of miles on your car. It's a job where you are constantly on the go, driving to different boats, different marinas, and all of that good stuff. I finally made it to the office. This is one of our steward offices, Waterway Marina. This office is really cool because it's a marina that we own, and at this marina we have tons of 30 and 40 thousand pound boat lifts that you can rent if anyone needs a lift in the steward area let me know i can hook you up and get you one probably if there is availability there's also slips for boats that's the building there nice cute little building you know houses i think there's five or six brokers that work out of this office i'm not one of them i work in palm beach gardens but this is the entrance onto the dock gated has security there during the nighttime. Super awesome facility. You can see some of the lifts right here. And the boat that I'm actually checking on in this marina happens to be our Bahama. Bottom's a little bit dirty, so ignore that, but she is looking pristine. Got her cleaned up this weekend. You can see the backrest doesn't have the cushions on there because our upholstery is getting close to being finished. I am extremely excited for that. All right, just finished up here in Stewart. Returned the keys to the HMY front office here. Went and checked on my boat, which is going to look sweet when it's done. Our diamond upholstery is getting all stitched up right now. Should be on sometime next week. It's gonna look badass. But let's get on the road and drive back to Palm Beach Gardens now and get some office work done. Some more highway time and some more miles. On the way back to Palm Beach Gardens, I actually got a call from a client, and so I'm pulling into another one of our facilities right now. This is our outboard center. This is in North Palm Beach on North Lake. This is just a used car lot that we bought so we can fit trailerable outboard boats on it. This is the boat that I'm here to see today. It's a Pathfinder 2600 HPS. Um, a client of mine who has a bigger boat wants a little boat so he can just fish around um, in Stewart and then also have a boat that his son can go fish on. So I'm looking at this little boat for him. Super nice boat. A good colleague of mine, Rory Klein. This is his listing. If anyone's interested, go contact Rory. The boat's super nice actually. Would make a really good boat. The boat is powered by a Yamaha F350. It has Simrad electronics. The upholstery is in good condition. The gel coat's in good condition. This is gonna make a sweet little boat if my client decides to buy it. Stop to get some lunch with my good friend and colleague, Jeff Thiel. Quick detour, just went to um, grab lunch with a coworker, Jeff Thiel, great guy, great broker. Um, but now I am headed to Fort Lauderdale to go move a boat for one of my co-workers also because I'm a captain as well So I'm gonna take you with that take you with me on that adventure to show you the boat show you how I move it all that good stuff So let's head to Fort Lauderdale Even more miles The boat that I'm helping with is at F3 Marina in Fort Lauderdale If you've never seen this place, it is a ridiculous dry stack facility. It's all automated It has that giant crane on the roof that brings the cradle over to whatever boat they put in the system that needs to be put in the water It's a super awesome system It is I, I'm, I have nothing else to say about it besides it's really really awesome here we're getting out the Boston Whaler 350 Outrage that I'm moving today. Um, I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to see it going really slow, and then I'll catch you when I get on the boat. 
so we're on the boat now and we're actually only moving it down the canal to a boat yard that's going to haul the boat out and then put it on a low boy trailer so the boat can be sent up to Jacksonville to her new owner so it's a short and easy trip. A pretty San Lorenzo that we passed. As you can see they had the travel lift waiting for us so as soon as we pulled up they pulled the travel lift into the haul out bay and put the slings down pulled her into the haul out bay and got the slings properly placed on the boat so the weight is distributed properly between the two of them. They went ahead and pulled the boat just forward of the haul out bay so that the transport company can back the trailer up under the travel lift to lower the boat down onto the trailer. Watching this transport driver back this giant trailer up into a small boatyard off of a small side street was extremely impressive. They do it every day, but it's still fun to watch every single time. He went ahead and backed it all the way up under the travel lift and under the boat. We're going to kind of get the boat situated right where we want it on the trailer so we can just drop it straight down onto the bunks. You can see here we're just fine tuning where we want the trailer or where we want the boat. We got her all taken care of. She's loaded onto the trailer. They're gonna go ahead and put some straps and secure the boat down, but our job is done here. Walked back down to the dry sack facility where our cars were. All right, so now we finished up with that, getting that boat taken care of. Now, turn right back around and head back up to Palm Beach Gardens to get some more work done. Even more highway time. All right, pulling up to another one of the marinas that we own, we being HMY. This is our Harbor Point Marina. It's in North Palm Beach. This is where my actual office is. It's a super awesome marina, super protected. Um, really easy for workers to come in and do whatever they need to do. Fuel trucks to come in to fill up the boats. It's an awesome facility. My office is in that building we're pulling up to right here. It's an awesome office. I have great views of everything. I wanted to take one quick minute just to show you guys the facility. This is the main area where you can go upstairs or downstairs. My office is upstairs. If we walk out to the back, we have a deck that's right on the intercoastal because this entire marina and my office is right on the intercoastal. So it's awesome. I can watch all the boats going by every day. Michael Rybovich and Sons is just north of us, so I get to see all the custom boats coming and going every day. It's quite the office and I am extremely thankful that I have the office I do. If you look here, I'm on the top left corner so I can look out my office and watch the boats go by. Finally took some time at the end of the day to get a little bit of work done, send some emails, read some emails, reach out to some clients, find some boats and all the good back end work that you never see happen. All right, so I just finished sending some emails, checking my emails, everything that I didn't get to do throughout today because I was running around like a madman. I just finished, it's 5.30, so I'm gonna get ready to go home, get a workout in, get some food. So this is about the end of this video, but stay tuned in the future. I'm gonna be making more of these videos as I start doing more stuff that y'all will think, that y'all, that I think you would think is interesting. You know, days I have sea trials and surveys when I'm running boats, looking at boats, all that good stuff. Um, if you like the channel, it'd be giant if you'd subscribe, comment on the videos, like the videos. Um, but until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.